get out here and just ride a bike as fast as it'll go. Uh, it just, you know, sometimes you sort of don't want the run to stop. The bike's great. The bike's basically like clockwork really, so yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Super stable, super fast. It's great to see what's going on and how things were handled and what Dad had to do at the salt boat all those years ago and to participate here uh, at, at this time. It's really, really pleasing and yeah, it, it does give a little bit of a, a, a heart throb. How about that? Uh, we had to achieve uh, between 125 and 150 mile an hour uh, with the clause that we cannot go over 150 mile an hour. Uh, main thing going through my mind was just don't get into your leathers too quick because it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, that's about it really. Um, as Bert would say, just one good run. You know, I mean that's all he was ever looking for, one good run. But of course, you know they're never good enough. You know, you're always you're always going to go harder. Had a look down and saw 122 odd mile an hour and thought, okay, you got a little bit quicker and get a little bit of a shimmy in the soft sort of, you know, tracks cutting up a little bit here and there. Um, yeah, no, very happy to get that done and get that out of the way. So now we can go and um, take it to the next level and and see how it goes there on that, you know, a little bit quicker. The next step is when we get another another run, we need to be between 150 and 175 mile an hour because um, we've qualified for the C grade license which is that puts you into that category. There's some stuff I was going to show you back home but I never got round to it. You see this here, that was Dad's trophy where it says here it's awarded to Bert Monroe, owner of the world's fastest Indian. Dad was visiting the Springfield factory of Indian in 1954 and while Dad was there on that visit he um, was given this diary, pretty fancy diary and it's got uh, there's a heap of in interesting information in here. But there's also a lot of business cards. But on your next run, I thought I thought you should be carrying one of Dad's good luck charms with you. And they gave him this lapel pin, and that's uh, I think why it became a bit of a treasure for him. Give you a little bit of inspiration for your next one to keep it wound on. So yeah, we want to go over 150 and as close to 175 as we can. And um, you know, I believe I believe the bike's got a lot more in it. Yeah, if we can get another run this afternoon, we'll just get out there and take our time and slowly make our way up the line, and and uh, yeah, we'll just attack it if, if we get the chance. These are uh, the license plates that were on my last race car. Sick. Oh wow. Sick. <laughs> Check that out. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. You're, you're, you're for real. Yeah, Too much, it's man. Illegal. That's insane. Uh, today we did 186.6 mile an hour, which was, you know, setting a new record. We had to uh, qualify for a Class B license, which will allow us to go over 200 mile an hour on our next run. That was pretty much what we set out to do, and we managed to do that. Setting a new record was something that I dreamed about, but you never really think it's going to happen. Bonneville, it's very special, obviously, and you know the fact that Bert did what he did there. Very proud moment, I can imagine, when I step out on that salt and I'm, I'm expecting some pretty wild goosebumps, put it that way. I'll have to have a handkerchief with me, I think. I'm super proud that Indians considered me to ride a bike for them. I mean, it's a fantastic brand to be able to ride for. Um, it's dear to my heart. I feel very passionate about the brand. You've got to be able to amalgamate the, today the future technology and the past and, and, and make it work. And um, personally, I think India's done a great job and they've, and they've got it right.